Meanwhile, in recent months, speaking of Pope Frank and the cult of abuse, in recent months there's been a push, especially on social media platforms, which as we've reported for you is called the internet. In recent months, there's been a push, especially on social media platforms, of course, which have been weaponized, to make pedophilia an acceptable activity in American society. Rather than considering the molestation and sexual assault of children as a crime, some are suggesting that pedophilia is a sexual orientation, like being straight or gay. And though that may sound completely ridiculous to the casual observer, Calatopia Pepsi's actually introduced a bill in their state legislature ensuring that convicted pedophiles and those who commit sexual crimes against kids don't have to register on the sex offender registry so long as the child in question is within 10 years of the age of the perpetrator. This article coming from Shit Hit the Fan Plan, slowly and methodically. Those who want to decriminalize the predatory sexual abuse committed by pedophiles are tacitly doing so on you know, one state government bill at a time. State Senator Scott Weiner, a Pepsi from San Francisco, is full of what? And Assemblywoman Susan Eggman. <laughs> uh, easily, of course, one of the best songs on Paul's Boutique. She is a Pepsi from Stockton. Introduced recent legislation to end blatant discrimination against LGBT young people regarding Calatopia's sex offender registry. Under Bill SB 145, the offenders would not have to automatically register as sex offenders if the offenders are within 10 years of age of the minor. As if that wasn't bad enough, exactly. NAMBLA going very mainstream. National Association of Man Boy Love. I believe Allen Ginsberg was a, was a giant fan of NAMBLA, if you didn't know. So basically... One of the nation's most well-known online publications asking what is perhaps... One of the most ludicrous questions we've heard, except we've been doing this for 14 years and unfortunately there's not a lot that's surprising, just generally disappointing. Asking the question from Slate, is pedophilia a crime or an illness? This article would like to think that the answer to this question is both, but Slate, now who runs Slate? Is that the one that's owned by the Washington Compost or am I confusing it with the exact same thing called Salon? I'll await the answer in the chat. Slate takes it even further, asking whether pets should be punished for their mental illness. That's like asking whether a deranged serial killer should be punished for their actions. A serial killer has a mental illness, but does that mean it's okay to let them walk around us so long as they seek treatment for their crimes? Protections for children are slowly being eroded, and if the extreme left's progressive agenda continues, chances are that claiming pedophilia an evil crime could one day become grounds for censorship and accusations of hate speech. That is the conversation to be had. It's ridiculous on its face. The editor's note at the bottom of this article, please note that we believe the vast majority of Pepsis and Cokes are against the idea of legalizing pedophilia. This appears, of course, to be originating from a very small but very vocal group on the extreme left of the political spectrum. Progressive Magazine asks, are pedophiles too sick for punishment? So, I, I haven't found the answer yet. Who runs Slate? kind of feel like it's the, uh, well, I guess I'm confusing it with the uh, Salon. I guess Salon is the Washington Post thing. Slate is an online magazine that covers current affairs, politics, and culture from the United States from a liberal perspective created in 1996 by former New Republic editor Michael Kinsley, initially under the ownership of Microsoft as part of MSN. Hey, did you guys hear? I I've heard some rumors that Microsoft w works with the government and that there's some little Eichmanns that work for them that are suddenly mad. They've been working for a place building weapons of or imagine my shock. You're listening to your Morning Monarchy. It is a gnarly, holy hexes Thursday. And where do we go from, of course, normalizing pedophilia? 